Hey y'all, it's Annie, and today I'm gonna try making chocolate chip cookies in a skillet. What? So I saw this thing on TikTok. You can pan fry cookies. Now we have tried cookies in an air fryer before with excellent results. Super crispy, delicious. But y'all know me and I don't have a kitchen appliance more expensive than a spatula. So I'm working with the basics here. We're gonna make use of what we got. I'm expecting crispy on the outside, gooey, chewy in the middle. Pan fried cookies, let's give it a go. You can use any chocolate chip cookie recipe or probably just cookie recipe for this cooking method. But today I'm using our all time favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, hashtag my recipes, which you can find in the link underneath this video. I have a cooled skillet and I have greased it with a little bit or a lot of it of butter. I'm going to portion out four cookies, push them down, form the shape that I want and put the lid on top. On low to medium heat, I'm gonna let it cook for eight to 10 minutes, keeping an eye on it, and then flip them over, cook the other side for about five minutes. All right, it's been eight minutes and this is formed into one giant cookie. So my guess is my dough needs, oh, a little bit more. Chill time. Oh my goodness. No, what are you? I wonder if I could like, oh, okay. Nope. My guess is my my heat was too low. See you never. <laughs> Round two. Less dough because I don't want it spreading all over the dang skillet. Okay, not good, not good at smelling. <laughs> I think it's burning. Higher heat was not the answer. Just two cookies on here. I'm getting sick and tired of waiting on all these cookies. These look Better. Okay, so I'm thinking the keys are don't cook too many in the pan at one time. Oh, what? <laughs> How did I do that? Can we flip? Well, we can't. No, we can't. Why are these the flattest cookies I've ever seen? What is. Okay. The outsides have crisped up. Almost like pancakes. Okay, but I can get my spatula under there. Maybe it'll take two spatulas. Okay. <laughs> so what we have here is one cookie in shambles and one cookie taco. Okay, much better. And okay, yes. So much better. Golden brown perfection. So when you first take them off the skillet, they will be still very soft, but they will harden up. So don't worry if they are too soft. It's like, it, it really is pan fried. It caramelizes on the outside and it still stays really chewy on the inside. So if I get my heating, my cooking temperatures correct, I'd be more inclined to call this successful. Okay, this is for sure my best bet. There has been a massacre in my skillet. Hopefully larger cookies are the answer. Cause what I'm finding is that it's just cooking the inside way too much to the point where it's not chewy anymore by the time that the outside cooks all the way. Okay, I have one more idea. One single cookie. So I'll let you in on my plan. I consider myself to be an excellent egg Flipper, I'm gonna give it a try with this cookie. I'm gonna give it a big old fancy chef spin. Land it perfectly and have myself a perfectly pan fried cookie. Can I get a little speed in there? <laughs> that is not going anywhere. Uh, mm. And it is burnt as I'll get out. This is sorely disappointing, I have to say. Final thoughts. Yes, a skillet can cook a cookie. Would I recommend it? No. A, you're only getting small one to two to three cookies per batch, which just takes so much longer. When you're in the mood for cookies, you want like 12 of them. Second, you might have as many fails or even more than I did. But if you know 
how to make this work for me, please let me know in the comments below. I am clearly on the struggle bus and would love some advice. And now after smelling chocolate chip cookies for the past hour, I'm gonna have to heat up my oven and just bake the rest of them. Some things are best done the old fashioned way. No flipping required, thank goodness. Sorry pan fried cookies, but you ain't got nothing on oven baked. <sighs> The good news is next week, I'm gonna show y'all how to make edible cookie dough so we don't have to deal with cooking it at all. Otherwise, check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Make sure to follow and subscribe to all of our pages.